From music to arts, business, and even sports, AI is birthing groundbreaking innovations. Today, we'll be exploring recent developments in the world of AI including Apple Podcasts' latest updates, OpenAI's acquisition of global illumination and lots more. Let's get started. According to a post made on Globant's website on 17 August 2023, Globant and La Liga Tech are determined to transform sport tactics and broadcasting. They intend to pioneer this innovation using generative AI, particularly open AI GPT models. Globant is a digital native company that excels at assisting organizations in reinventing themselves and unleashing their potential. This advancement will provide the ability to automatically generate multi-language subtitles in near real time, an increase in global fan engagement of different sports organizations, a reduction in churn by providing more personalized content tailored to fans and their clubs, and lots more. On Monday, the 21st of August 2023, Apple made public some updates on their podcast's creator tools. The updates include Subscription analytics in Apple Podcasts Connect Creators can now see how listeners engage with their premium subscriptions on Apple Podcasts. This feature will enable creators understand their audience the more. More delegated delivery. The first release of delegated delivery on Apple Podcasts was on the 10th of January 2023. This service allows creators to publish Apple Podcasts subscription contents directly from their participating hosting service provider dashboard. According to their blog, Audio Wave, Podbean, and a few other hosting providers will begin supporting delegated delivery on their platform by the end of the year. Linkfire A Linkfire account equip creators with the ability to generate an unlimited number of smart links to landing pages for their podcasts as well as take account of listeners' engagement with their content. This will enable them measure real-time user engagement with their links and pages including anonymized visits and click-through rates. YouTube has listed out their principles for participation with the music industry on AI technology. This was captured in post made on YouTube's official blog on the 21st of August, 2023. The CEO of YouTube, Neil Mohan revealed their partnership with Universal Music Group, UMG. He hopes the partnership will foster the team's ability to develop an AI framework that'll help them work towards their common goals. YouTube's principles for participating with the music industry on AI include The introduction of YouTube's Music AI Incubator The company believes that AI has come to stay and plans to embrace it responsibly with music partners. Continuous investment in AI-powered technology like Content ID this is to protect the community of viewers, creators, and so on in this new age of creative expression. Scaling their previous success in building an industry-leading, trusted, and safe organization to meet the challenges of AI. With these three principles, YouTube hopes to build itself a strong foundation in the music industry and better navigate the new world created by AI. On Wednesday, the 16th of August 2023, OpenAI made a post on their official blog page stating their acquisition of Global Illumination, a New York-based company launched by Thomas Dimson, Taylor Gordon, and Joey Flynn. Global Illumination is a digital products company that have designed and built products at Instagram, Facebook, Google as well as YouTube. Their most recent creation is Biomes, an open-source sandbox where users can build, forage, play mini-games, and lots more all on the web. OpenAI is positive about the impact Global Illumination's team will have on their company. Stability AI has announced the release of Stablecode. Stablecode is Stability AI's first LLM generative AI product for coding. It is designed to assist programmers with their daily work, while also providing an amazing learning tool for new developers willing to advance their skills. Using the Pass at 1 and Pass at 10 metrics on OpenAI's Human Evil dataset, Stability AI was able to evaluate their model against other models. The evaluation result shows that stable code performed better than replit code on both metrics. However, StarCoder performs better than stable code on the Pass at 1 metric. This launch of stable code is a significant step towards Stability AI's goal to make technology more accessible to humans. 
Just like Apple, YouTube, and the other organizations we looked at today are working to integrate AI technology into their process, we should also work towards embracing AI and using it to our benefits. Thank you for staying with us. Endeavor to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more interesting news updates. See you in our next video.